Oh yeah, yeah, it's me again. I'm back. I <laughs> uh, just want to show you this latest little beauty. Um, there she is in all her glory. It's the A ATS 120. Um, uh, it's the latest model in this range, I think. But um, yeah, there's quite a few videos on YouTube, some really good videos on that. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd just show you it going, and I got it Bluetoothed to my uh, little speaker here, uh, which is a pretty good speaker, but I'll let you, I'm on 40 metres, and it's just gone four o'clock in the afternoon, here we go. I've downgraded from the big beam to that, um, about a couple of years ago, when I uh, uh, made sensible for getting older, the tower and whatever you hear, because I had a massive lattice tower here, and uh, it's a case of me looks after it, and me's going to get broken looking after it, so I thought, let's just be sensible and downgrade, so I've just now got a Tenemaster and an MA6 uh, G4 UDS. Roger, Roger. Yeah, it works well. Um, Australia, see no problem. So, uh, yeah, I've uh, no linear at the moment. It's just, uh, well, I've never had one. <laughs> um, but, so we're just running 100 watts, Roger. Yep, same thing this end. I've got an amplifier here, but just running 100 watts at the moment. Well, there you go. It seems to work. <laughs> if conditions are right, you'll, you'll get there. Right, yeah, there. I just muted it. Um, as you can hear, it's a really good reception on it. I'm using uh, a G5 RV antenna, which I've got switched through from my other room, from my shack, uh, just uh, through this small cable into the... Uh, living room here just so i can have a listen when i'm sat here in the living room i, I normally have this bluetooth to a, a little earpiece i've got and just listen while uh you know we've got telly on my wife watches telly and that you know and i just uh, have a listen on this and uh yeah it's a lovely little radio and it works so well so clear and uh you know i've, I've had it going on other bands you know uh, 20, uh, 80 metres, um, 15 metres, well, you know, most of the amateur bands, and uh, it's brilliant. Um, it's got memories on this, but, I mean, if you you look at it, look it up anyway, you'll see all the details on it. But um, I, I did have the ATS, well, I've still got it, the ATS 100, which is a similar looking radio, but it's got a small colour screen on it. It's not touch screen, and uh, you don't have memories on it, and it sort of takes a bit more manoeuvring around, really. But with this one being touch screen, you can you can directly enter frequencies into it, and I say you can store memories, and uh, it's just got everything really. It's got different bandwidths, um, you know, AGC. Yeah, it's. Uh, you can you can have it set so it goes into landscape mode, but it's not automatic like a phone. But you can set it so it's in landscape mode, um, and it's got a retro mode on it, which gives you an old type display on it. That I don't think that works on sideband though. It's just on, uh, but on AM uh, shortwave and uh, that's a screensaver. But I've just got it set for two minutes, uh, um, but just. Click it back on, and um, yeah, it's a really, uh, really nice bit of kit, and uh, works really well out of the box. And it's got a nice telescopic on it, aerial on it. So if you're outside, um, it, like on 20 meters and that, you get stuff on on the telescopic. I've, I've got the um, antenna jacked into the bottom, you know, the external antenna. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just show it you quick. Anyway, I'll probably do some more videos on it. If I keep it that long, <laughs> no, I'm sure I will because I, I really like it. It's a really good little radio. And I like the fact it's got Bluetooth, you know, connectivity, which is good for, uh, you know, you can have a little earphone in, earpiece, or uh, I say uh, connected to a speaker like that, you know, and it sounds really good. So, um, okay then, well, I'm going to carry on listening, but uh, I'll catch you again in another exciting video. So, this is. Kev G7 ILP saying bye for now.